Hello, Diane here from Tattered Edges Design with a junk journal flip through, which I've never done before. So let's be uh, kind in our comments, okay? <laughs> but um, I wanted to show this one. I've been making journals, I don't know, four years or so and selling them and I've never done a video before, but this one is a little unique, different. So I thought I would do a flip through of it so people could get a better idea there's only so many things you can see on a photograph on Etsy, right? So this is uh, Rudolph Valentino. And most of you are probably going, yeah, I've heard of him. Wasn't he an actor like back in the 50s or something? Mm -hmm. No, he was a silent screen actor. One of the top silent screen actors of the 19 teens and 20s. Never made a talkie. Anyway, in case you still don't know who he is, here are a few clips. Okay, now that we're all enthralled with Rudolph, let's get on with the flip through. So this is six inches across, eight inches up and down. It's scrapbook paper sewn to fabric. Sewn to fabric. Uh, this picture here of Rudolph is uh, just a print. It's, I believe it's an old magazine cover of the day. And I've added a few postage stamps, some sheet music, scrapbook paper. These are paper beads I made. I just thought they were kind of fun, went with his ensemble. The back is plain. There is machine stitching around, intentionally made to look sloppy. I'm not that sloppy of a sewer. And inside we have a fabric pocket with a journal card. It's another print off the internet, right on the back. And here you could write, uh, you know, a title, your name, a date, something. And here we have our hero again. This is a flip out. Oh, um, that's Italy back there. He was raised in Italy. And coffee dyed paper, some fabric. This is a uh, awfully small print, but it is a fan letter that would have been sent out at the time to someone that had wrote in. This is a tag with writing space on the back. It's um, a poem written by Rudolph. In 1923, he published a small volume of poetry, and this is one of the poems. And back here is a simple print of a lobby card for the chic. And I put a little extra paper on the back so you can write. This is just scrapbook paper. Oh, this does flip up for more writing stuff. And rubber stamp, washi, this is Ode to the Chic, of course, camels. Old book page, I thought that looked kind of like the era car. Uh, this is off the internet too, it's a um, LP cover, which I thought was kind of funny. I don't know when this came out, it wasn't in the 20s. Looks kind of 50s to me, but I don't know. And ledger, new ledger paper. This is actually from the 1920s. It is an unused cigar band. Kind of cool. It's actually embossed. You can feel it. And scrap of paper. A uh, little booklet to write. A little mini file folder to write or whatever. This page is a 1970s reproduction of a 1920s Sears catalog. Do we get that? But it's, so it's 20s eras men's clothing. So that's why I put it in there. 
This is like a lightweight drawing paper. There's Rudy and Ella, let's see if I can say her last name, Nazimova from the movie Camille. Scrap of paper, little ribbon. Uh, this is actually child's finger painting paper. Kind of cool. It's got it's a little bit of weight to it. You could paint on it or something if you wanted. A fabric flip. Uh, this is an envelope that actually I made prior to this, but I just thought it kind of matched in here, so I put it in here. A calendar from this year. I think this was a December calendar. Old map. There's Rudolph from Son of the Sheik. That was his last film. Uh, another lobby card. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's uh, This is a print too, not original, but of a set of paper dolls that was issued in the 20s. And this one features Rudolph with costumes from his films. And there he is. I think that's the Sheik. I don't think it's Son of, I think it's the Sheik on an Arabian. Scrap of paper. Now we're going back the other way. Map. It's a uh, magazine, it's a copy, but a magazine ad for the Eagle. The other part of that envelope with uh, just a little collage journal card I made and a couple German uh, translation cards, which I thought were appropriate to uh, Rudolph. Uh, his Rudy in his uh, home. Falcon Lair, pretty cool. Uh, this is interesting. It's a, again, a copy off the internet, but it is a card from Paramount. Sorry about that interruption. It was a coon hound alert. Anyway, um, this is an engagement card that the studio kept on actors and it's saying uh, Rudy's height and weight and can he drive and ride? It's, it's kind of cool. And that they suggested he play heavies in movies. In other words, bad guys. And they didn't know what they had on their hands. Uh, this is some old trim, probably upholstery trim. A scrap of paper, another off the internet image. There's another poem that Rudolph wrote. Here's the back of that Sears catalog page. A little uh, journaling card, plain black. That's another movie poster. Uh, that was sheet music, actually, a sheet music cover. And even though this is a 1932 car, I thought it looked a little like his Asadi. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, his fancy car from the 20s. Rudolph. And back we go. Stamp. And here's a big um, journaling card for Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And here we are. So that's it. Thank you very much for viewing. I appreciate it and have a good day.